20. 15. T minus 15 seconds, standing by for terminal count. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Main engine ignition and liftoff of the Atlas V rocket with LRO Elcross, America's first step of a lasting return to the moon. And we have the pitch program in. The quadrants look good. RD-180 is operating well. Up speeds are stable. Air compressions look good. Plus and battery voltages are stable. Tank pressures look good. RD-180 is continuing to operate well. down, right on schedule. Engine response looks typical. Pump speeds are stable. Injector pressures look good. Current altitude is 11.3 nautical miles. Downrange position is 9.9 .9 miles. Velocity is 2,400 miles per hour. And we've begun flying the Alpha Bias steering phase of flight. Vehicle body range continue to look good. Battery voltages are stable, tank pressures are good. Booster has enabled closed loop steering. Vehicle body rates continue to look good. Booster engine operation continues to look very good as we uh, move towards our next phase of flight. the RCS pyro valve and that system has pressurized uh, according to its normal ramp rate. And the booster has begun its 180 degree roll for the LRO thermal constraint. Booster engine continues to operate well. Still operating uh, well as we begin our 5G throttle segment. Boost phase cooldown is underway. Pump temperatures look good. Coming up on our 4.6G throttle segment, preparation for BECO. And boost phase cooldown is complete. And we have Pico. Engine shutdown looks good. We have retros and stage separation looks clean. We have locks and fuel pre-start. Chain 2 purge firing is underway. We have ignition and full thrust on the RL-10. We have payload fairing jettison. Two good brake wires and Good visual indication of payload turn jetson. 
Centaur has begun uh, closed-loop steering. Vehicle body rates look good. Centaur PU is being commanded to fixed angles for the early portion of this 9 minute and 42 second burn. Centaur has begun PU limiting. Uh, it's operating at the oxidizer rich condition which is expected for this phase of flight. RL-10 operation looks very good at this point. Continue to run oxidizer rich. Beginning to pick up our RCS thermal conditioning firings.